everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. If you've ever had to reinstall a machine, remanage it, and then you're watching videos and you realize, dang it, I forgot to put the ad blocker on, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna take you through scan profiles in PDQ inventory. You know, just what to expect, you know, kind of how they work. So to, know, to see the scan profiles you have, you go to options, scan profiles right there at the top. Here they are, here is all the defaults that come with PDQ inventory. Now you will notice there is only one of these scanners that is actually scheduled to run, and that's the standard scan profile right here. It runs when the scan age is seven days or older. I'm gonna double click on that. And if you take a look at the details, this is the big one that gets all that information, hardware information, software information, AD information, all of that to, for the machines that actually are uh, registered in inventory. Now, triggers, this trigger, acts or runs a scanner when the scan age is seven days or older you know i like this instead of like okay we run it once a week on sunday but what if my machine's turned off on sunday right so the nice thing about this is let's say you know i get scanned on monday i go on vacation and my machine doesn't get turned on until i get back on thursday two weeks later obviously the scan age is older than seven days it's going to get scanned when it comes online when inventory notices it, it comes online it'll grab it so and then the other thing you can do is target each of your scanners to a collection. So, well, here's, let me just give you an example. Let's say I wanted to run this standard scan more frequently on the accounting machines. So I'm gonna duplicate that scanner. We're gonna go in and modify it. We'll call it the standard accounting because, you know, accounts always load stuff, right? Maybe. I am gonna go change the trigger. Instead of running it when it's, the days are seven days or older, we're gonna change that down to three or four, we'll just go with three. And then I'm gonna target that to run on specific machines in inventory. So I hit link to collections. I can grab any of these collections that I've built or that are standard, or you can even go after an OU and we'll, we'll grab the new computers OU. If you had an accounting OU, you pointed at that. We'll give that an okay. We'll save that. And now this standard accounting group is gonna run against just those. In this case, there was only two machines in that group every three days. So. That's how you do it. Uh, there are more videos on how to build scanners. This is just your basic in introduction to scan profiles on PDQ inventory. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.